What's up, YouTube? This is Nilopolis. Um, it's been a while since I made a video, but uh, I just wanted to make a real quick one about something that uh, one of my pet arguments, my uh, my favorite things to bitch about, and that's uh, this whole war on terrorism thing. And um, I was really, really fucking happy the other day when I heard that... Uh, that Obama, or part of the uh, the administration, decided that uh, we won. War on terrorism's over. We we beat him. Um. Yeah, it's it's ridiculous. The whole concept is ridiculous. Uh. Terrorists are criminals. It doesn't matter what their motivation is or where they came from. They're criminals. They can't. They can't hurt freedom. They can't invade America. It's not like the Russians or the Nazis or the Japanese or the British or something where they can march an army here and tell us what to fucking do. No, all they can do is, is scare us. And 9-11 uh, and happened and everyone just shit their pants and, uh, and ran to daddy government, you know. Oh, save us, please. <laughs> Uh, we'll give you all of our rights, just just make it so it doesn't happen again. And, um, you know, we gave up our, uh, our Fourth Amendment rights, and um, we uh, gave up habeas corpus, um, all in the name of, of stopping something that, uh, that almost never happens, really. It's not, like, uh, it's not like there's a suicide bomber in America every day blowing something up. It's not like they're... Uh, you know they're a real, a real threat. They're just a nuisance. And um, yeah, it was dramatic. They uh, they blew up buildings and killed lots of Americans, and it was horrible. It was a real tragedy. But um, there's no way to fight that with an army. It's just ridiculous. There's no way to. They're no different from Timothy McVeigh. You can't. You don't send the army into Oklahoma to. Uh, to get rid of all the crazies, and and it's retarded to go send the army into the Middle East to get rid of all their crazies. It's like we uh, we got stung by a bee, and then we ran up to the hive and started hitting it with a stick. It's uh it's playing right into the terrorist hands. It's doing exactly what they wanted. They wanted us to uh to give up our liberties. They wanted us to be afraid of them and to view them as a big scary enemy. And uh, they especially wanted us to go over there where they could shoot at us with the weapons that we gave them to fight the Russians. Um, we did it. 9-11 worked. They absolutely worked. <laughs> they absolutely won with that, with that move. And, um, you know, every time you drop a bomb and, and kill a bunch of terrorists and one innocent person, that, that whole innocent person's family is now basically uh, terrorist recruits. And it's just, uh, this is a war of hearts and minds, and we're not winning that war. <laughs> um, so I, I just really wanted to commend the, uh, the Obama administration for doing that, for not using words like jihad that validate uh, their whole uh, fantasy of them being religious warriors. Um, and um, I'd, really, uh, I'd really like to go a step further and, and maybe... Stop! Uh, stop giving so much support to Israel. I mean, I love Israel. I, I grew up with a lot of Jewish kids, and I, I love the idea of a country sitting there in the middle of a bunch of uh, people who hate their fucking guts and just uh, beating the shit out of them in war after war after war. But it's not right. It's none of our fucking business. Uh, and if <laughs> if Israel is getting invaded from all sides, and they're they're killing Jews in the streets. Then that's one thing. But really, it's Israel is just a uh, it's just another theocracy, basically. I mean, they have a, se a pretty secular government, but it's a theocracy, and we are a secular, free society, and we have no business get sticking our noses in theirs, and. Uh, you know, it's kind of sad that a lot of our politicians are elected with uh, a lot of money coming from 
from Israel, and I can see why Muslims are pissed off at us. But uh, they're crazy, too. You know? The Zionists in the Gaza Strip are crazy. The, uh, the terrorists blowing themselves up saying Allah Akbar are crazy. And, uh, you know, once again, religion fucks everything up where we probably could try to get along without it. So, um, yeah. Good job with that. Uh, I just think it's, uh, I think it was a big waste of, of American lives, and it was a huge, huge, huge waste of money, and, um, you know, it was an excuse to go and do whatever the neocons wanted to do and try to make their little democratic government in the middle of the Middle East. <laughs> a lot of good that did. And they invaded the only, uh, the only non-Muslim-run country there. <laughs> Um, and what did it do? It, it emptied our treasury. It gave all our money to Halliburton so that they could, uh, you know, charge a hundred bucks a head for meals that no one's eating and make, uh, 400 extra meals because they knew that they would get paid for it. And whatever they do, they would, uh, they would buy 500 computers that the army didn't need. And then when the army didn't need them, they would burn them and get a big check for it. And, uh, and on top of that, then they, instead of actually taking the troops they needed to accomplish the tasks that they were doing, they ignore all the military advice. And, um, they go in there like a bunch of fucking cowboys without a f fucking thought in their heads as to what they're going to do when they defeat the army. They think that everyone's going to throw fucking flowers at them. And... And they allow everyone to just take all the weapons they want. <laughs> and they fire the whole army. Like, you know, what are they? They're just going to go home and sit down and watch some TV, right? No, they're going to pick up the fucking weapons and they're going to shoot at you. You know? You, you turn off all the electricity and water in a country and allow everyone to loot the place. It's going to go nuts and you're going to be fucking dealing with a gigantic insurgency for another however many years. And uh, I'm glad we're getting out of there. Uh, hopefully Obama can stick to his fucking promises and get us out of there. And um, Afghanistan, is, you know, pretty much the same idea. I, don't know. I just think it's ridiculous. They can't, they can't hurt us. They don't pose any threat to us. We don't even need a fucking army anymore. There's enough well-armed, angry Americans with with just stockpiles of automatic weapons. China couldn't fucking invade this country. They could send every person in China at this country at once, and they would just start piling up at the borders. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's ridiculous. We've become an, an empire when we're supposed to be a free, autonomous uh, a government of individualists. So, um, I just think that that it's it's pathetic to be afraid of terrorists. I think that uh, going into a country to to we're just here to we're just here to take care of the crazies. <laughs> we love you guys. We we just want to get those crazies in your country. That's like you know what would you say if if China invaded America and said oh we're only here for the crazies. We love you guys, but uh, you know there's going to be patrols on your streets from Chinese troops from now on. Yeah, you're going to get shot at. So, uh, it's ridiculous. We created a war out of a crime. Uh, we don't have an enemy that we can fight with an army. The entire war on terrorism was ridiculous and stupid in the extreme. And I'm so glad that we are not calling it a war on terrorism any more than uh, I think we should have a war on jealousy or uh, a war on fucking bad, bad taste. You're, you're never going to get rid of terrorists. And, um... Yeah, that's all I got to say about that. Good job, Obama. <laughs>